how dangerous is the internet? We all know that the internet can be used to cheat kids, encourage bad habits, and waste time. All this is true, but fortunately, it's not the only truth. The internet can also be used to inspire, build knowledge, make contacts, and learn about strange and interesting places and different cultures around the world, and build an international network. It is often said that the influence of the internet is mainly negative, in that it is used for gaming, social media, scamming, time waste, and makes us not move enough. All this is true, but the internet is also the greatest explosion of knowledge we have known in the history of humanity, and has the potential to be used for a lot of good. But finding useful information can be difficult and people are often unaware of the existence of the many excellent and free resources available on the internet. Imagine, if you will, that when you turn on your electronic devices, the tabs are not consumed with empty entertainment, social media, or games, but instead presents you with information that allows you to improve the lives of yourself and others. You see how you can make a difference, make a change. I chose this theme for my project because there's so much useful and often free information on the internet that we don't know about. So I decided to make a website to help spread awareness of some of the amazing and useful websites. That is what I'm going to talk about today. For example, being able to find websites or apps to acquire skills for improving knowledge and productivity. Farmers can, for example, go on the internet and access satellite, da satellite data that allows them to check the soil moisture and help them decide which crops are best to plant. I've made this website so users can learn about some of the many resources on the internet. They can select within the four areas, education, farming, financing, and health. I've chosen these four areas because I think they're the most interesting and relevant. I've made a video here showing my website. Here's a uh, video showing my website. You can scroll down and you see the information here. And then let's, for example, click on financing. There are some links in financing. And you can go back here by clicking this. And let's take one more for farming, for example. And there's also some links here. If you click on the rest on the pages, it's the same. I hope my project can be used to inspire users to take advantage of the many resources on the internet. The first area I'm going to talk about is education. There are a lot of possibilities to acquire knowledge and learn skills from the internet. My website, users can get redirected to them. An example of a free online learning website where you can learn all sorts of things from black holes, history to math, is Khan Academy. But there are many, many more not so well known. One of my links takes you to mooc.org, which stands for Massive Open Online Courses. MOOCs are online courses, some of which are free, that people can enroll in anytime and learn at their own pace. A fun fact is, during the current pandemic, MOOCs have 10 times more customers than before. The second area I'm going to talk about is farming. My website redirects farmers to real satellite data that they can use to decide which crops are best to plant. One of these satellites is SMAP, which stands for Soil Moisture Active Passive. It was made by NASA and its function is to circle the earth and measure the moisture in soil so farmers can use it to decide which crops are best to plant. A curious fact is, SMAP costs $915 million to develop, and although that's a lot of money, it would only be enough to feed Africa for less than a day. But instead, now farmers not only in Africa, but all over the world can use this information year-round to decide which crops are best to plant. It is the equivalent of giving a man a fish, 
He's caught food for one day, but if you teach him how to fish, he can feed himself and his family for a lifetime. The third area I'm going to talk about is financing. About 45% of the world's population don't have bank accounts. That means 45% of the world's population cannot transfer money online. So that is why I have linked a money transferring app called Safaricom. Safaricom is a company made by Telcom Kenya, and it can be used for a variety of different things from mobile communication to transferring money wirelessly via phone without a bank account to music streaming. Microfinancing is another link I've added. For you who don't know, microfinancing is lending small sums of money to small businesses or individuals who want to start a business or for example if they just want to build a water pump to their house. The Indonesian microfinancing sector is one of the oldest and most successful in the world. An example of an Indonesian microfinancing case was when Harry Handoko borrowed $370 to build an egg incubator which usually costs thousands of dollars and it worked. The last area I'm going to talk about is health. I have, for example, linked websites like Mayo Clinic, which is a non-profit medical research group. So now people can go on there and get all sorts of information regarding health. Mobile Midwives is another link I've added. For you who don't know, Mobile Midwives is an organization that provides help to pregnant women in rural areas. For example, in Uganda, before Mobile Midwives was introduced, only 27% of pregnant women got help, but when mobile midwives was introduced, it went up to 93%. So let's conclude. The internet is not only bad. Yes, it can be used to scam people, waste time and make us not move enough, but that does not mean it's only bad. It can also be used to learn new things, inspire, access free knowledge, communicate and transfer money. I hope my project can contribute to making people aware of the many excellent and free resources available on the internet. Thank you to all the people who helped me, especially Pak Andre and my dad, and thank you for listening.